All right, so in this program, uh, or in this video, what we're going to be talking about is starting the programming section of uh, the course. So I know that you guys are really, really interested in getting into this, and finally we're here. Uh, so <laughs> appreciate your patience, but the other stuff that we learned prior to getting here was very, very fundamental in your success of being a programmer with Rockwell Software. So with using the RS Logix 5000 or Studio 5000 environment. So again, thank you for your patience. And yes, we are here finally going to get to the, the core values of programming and we're going to get to doing all four languages of programming. So first thing I want to talk about is actually understanding timing. Okay, so in the task itself, right, the task folder, you have many tasks you can add. You can add as many tasks as you want to. But first, let's talk about this main task. In the main task, you ha you can go to properties. The properties, you can go to configuration. Now, you can change. <clears throat> you're supposed to be, uh, you can change from continuous to uh, periodic um, if you wanted to. Um, change your watchdog. You can change, um, you can schedule and unschedule programs. You can go to monitor and see what, how fast things are actually, uh, scanning as far as timing and stuff of that nature. So, um, let's go ahead and add a new task. I'll show you how to do that as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new task and we're going to call this a periodic task. And then we're going to say, um, this is going to be, uh, let, let's just call this the uh, ladder logic section. That way we can easily control, um, you know, where we're programming and what, uh, what environment we're programming in as far as what language. We'll put this at uh, 47 milliseconds. So it's going to scan uh, in this periodic task. It's going to scan this routine or this this task every 47 milliseconds. So we now have that in our task up here. Um, well, now we have to add is our program. So again, we'll call this uh, ladder logic, and then um, for our parent program. We'll go, we're not going to have, um, we're going to have a main, we're going to have a main, uh, main program right here, but we're not going to have it right now. So we're going to add, uh, we're going to add our routine. So what we did so far is we've came up and added a task. We've added the, changed the task to a periodic task. So we want to have a, a time instead of continuously scanning, you want to, you generally want to have a periodic task so you understand timing better. You can use um, continuous task if you would like, although I'm a big fan of using uh, periodic tasks. So there is really no difference unless you are doing motion. Then motion, you need to be in a periodic task. In this case, we'll be doing periodic tasks. Just know that there's really no difference in continuous or, or uh, periodic besides the scan rate. The scan rate of... Um, a periodic task and I'll show you that um, is if you look at this it shows that the scan rate it shows the max time it took the last time it took it shows the intervals between which it started uh, scanning and did you know so it waited and, and scanned it every um, currently uh, right here 47 milliseconds the minimum right there is, is 45 whereof up here in the continuous task you look at monitor it's going to show you um that the minimum and maximum time it took to to actually scan the task and the intervals of between you know how long it took to actually start scanning and, and when it got back to it and if any overlaps happen what we're trying not to do is have any overlaps Okay, so get to get back to what we were doing, we added that uh, that new task. We added a new program, and then we added a we're going to add a new routine now. 
So we're going to call this, and we don't have to, but we're going to call it main uh, routine. And then in down here in the type, you want to change it, or you want to you want to keep it is uh, ladder logic, because right now you can change this to whatever you wanted to. Um, and what, that's what I meant by languages, like programming languages. You can do ladder logic, sequential function chart, function block, or structured text. We want to make sure that we are in ladder logic. Okay, so now we want to hit OK. Then we want to come back up here into our ladder logic, um, the program, and go to configuration. And our main routine is not assigned right now. So meaning, if we were to program in this, let's just talk about that for a second. If we were to program in this routine right now, we would not be able to scan the first thing because we have to have a main routine and you see that right there it has like a little uh little like folder or a little sheet of paper that's folded and it has a one on it well that's what we need to do is we need to link what we're doing is we're linking the the number one main routine to the program itself so you want to come down here and you want to go to configuration and you want to go to pick your main routine and hit apply and when we hit apply you see that now we have a new routine that is actually uh, put in there which houses it, it actually it ties this to this and this is tied to this and this is tied to this so you want to make sure all this is tied together right so in order to be able to program in the main routine and have everything under the main routine with the JSRs and stuff that we will talk about. We want to make sure we have um, our main routine scheduled properly in the um, in the assigned routines right here. So we want to make sure we have the main routine as the main. If we had a fault, we'd put it at we put a fault in there, but we're not going to do the fault itself. Um, so we'll come back and, and add these a little bit later, but what, what we should do now, and I think, let's go ahead and I want to, to actually, um, and we can come, come back and, and change this a little bit later, but actually let's do that now. Let's go offline and I want to get rid of this, um, the main routine because I, I don't want to cause any confusion. I want to delete that and then I want to come back and download. I'm, I'm trying not to create any kind of confusion whatsoever. I want to make this very, very simple. This is going to be the ladder logic. We're going to make another one for function block, another one for structured text. So, uh, and another one for sequential function chart. So I don't want to have a main routine down there just lagging around. Um, Okay, so now we're going to make a new task. We're going to make a new task, and we're going to call this new task. See, we have the choice of saying continuous periodic event. We're going to go periodic again, because that's just how I like to program. We're going to call this one 75, so 75 milliseconds. Then we're going to do uh, this second one. We're going to do function block. So we'll call that uh, function block, and then we'll say section. Um, and what I'll do too is I'll give you these files. Uh, I, I said 75, and I put 57, uh, 75. Uh, what I'll do is I'll give you these files um, so that you have them. But uh, first, we'll, we'll, we need to go ahead and make them, right? So then the function block section, now we added a new task. Now we need to add the new program right okay so now we're going to call this um and we can call it whatever we want to but we'll call it function uh, and we'll type it right function block okay so now um we don't have anything in here for parent we're not going to add anything down here we're going to hit ok and now we have a, a routine for our function block task. What I like to do too in our task is in properties, 
Um, if it is a periodic task, I like to come in here and put uh, whatever a millisecond set is so that when you look at it, you can come back here and say you can easily detect how fast uh, it's being scanned. So 47 milliseconds. So you can easily detect that. Okay, so now let's get back to our function block. What we want to do, and I want to make this as simple as possible, so I don't want to have um, anything harder. What we're going to do is start every one of these with the main routine, and we're going to have that main routine as um, a ladder logic. That just makes it that much easier to program. Um, we don't have to, but we can. So we are. So main routine. And that's just what we're going to name it, right? We're going to hit OK. Come back up here to Program. We're going to go back to Program. We're going to go to Configuration. In our, our assigned routines, we're going to select Main Routine. So now we have that one there too. So let's do another one. And let's make this periodic. And let's call this one. And let's put this as 57 this time. Let's put this one as structured text section. And then this is what we say 56, 57 milliseconds. Okay, so now we'll hit OK. We'll come down here. And this will fall in alphabetical order. So if you wanted it to fall in a different order, just put numbers in front of it. I'll show you that in just a second. Um, so um, we want to add a program, add a new program. And then we'll say structure uh, text. And I did spell this wrong, so what I want to do is come back and fix that. Sorry about that. Okay, so now again, we're going to start off with a main routine. Main routine, we'll click OK. We want to assign that main routine to the main program. So uh, we want to come down here to Properties, Configuration, Main, and then assign that there. All right, so now we have one more to add. This is going to be our fourth language, right? So uh, this is going to be a sequential function chart. So we'll call this FFC uh, section just to keep it simple. And then we'll have this. Um, we want to change it from continuous to periodic. And we'll have this at 125 milliseconds. So uh, we'll say 125 milliseconds. SFC section. Okay, cool. So we have that in there. Now we'll do add. We want to add our main program. Right, so we want to add um, SFC. Um, and then we'll, we'll just call this FFC. Uh, let's see. And then that's, that, yeah, that's it. And then under that, we want to have, again, we have nothing there. So we want to have our main program, our main routine. So main, main routine. I know this seems kind of repetitive, but I mean, it, it just, this is laying the foundation to what we're going to be doing in this course. So I want to make sure we do it correctly. Again, come up here to, uh, if you did not see that, this is the fourth time we did it. So uh, we want to come up here to our program, right click, go to properties, go to configuration, go to uh, assign routines and click our main routine. So now we have each one of these has a, uh, a, a basic main routine. So if we were to shorten this up, We would have our function block section that we're going to be going over, our uh, ladder logic 
section that we're going to be going over, our sequential function chart that we're going to be going over, and our structure text section that we will be going over in this course. Now, if we wanted these in order, all I have to do is come in here and hit um, right here and just put, uh, let's put A01. And that's going to take that to the top. And what do we want second? Let's just say function block second. So uh, we'll put A02. And then we want, uh, let's do, yeah, let's do the rest of these in that as the order they're in. That way it's just easier as we go down. A03. And then let's do this last one. Obviously, even though it's there, we already have kind of a naming culture in there. So we want to keep that naming convention that we have. So let's open these back up. And you'll see people do this all the time. So now we have our foundation of programming. And now uh, we have our we have linked our main task. We've gotten rid of the, the um continuous task although you can use it if you want to I choose not to because I'm used to using timing uh, proper timing in my system so I like to have uh, understand my timing um, of how things are done so <clears throat> in each one of these two and I'll show you um, there's a, a special tool that we can use called task monitor you cannot use the task monitor tool to check your health of your processor if you are using continuous task. If you're using periodic tasks, you can check how healthy your process is. So I'm going to um, err on the side of caution to tell you that it's always best to use a um, periodic task or event driven task so that you can check the health of your system by using this task monitor tool. I'll show you that right here. All programs. Um, <clears throat> Rockwell software and in uh, RS Logics tools you have to scroll down a little bit um, oh there it is studio 5000 task monitor right here and it pops up like that and then you basically just you want to start uh, you come in here and you select um, you know the file that you wanted to actually you know um, actually use this can't be done on an emulator but it, it can be done on a actual processor so we'll show you that though a little later in the uh, in the course I just wanted to kind of address that why we were talking about timing and why do I do that so uh, I'm a big big advocate on using timing properly into system because if you can properly time a system, you properly understand how to program it, then the less mistakes you make. So, okay, so um, we'll wrap this up now that we got our foundation here. First, we're going to hit save. We'll, and we'll save everything. And we'll wrap it up and continue on to the next video where we'll start programming in our ladder logic. Okay, all right. Well, um, we'll carry on to the next video. Thank you.